Hi everyone, no growl, this is Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien and it's my pleasure to be here for this hour as a guest host. We're looking at a down, I'm, I'm the uh, host of the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock Eastern Time show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. My service here is the, is the opening call, daily newsletter, and I will be giving a webinar on Wednesday the 13th, 4 o'clock to 5.30 for subscribers to my opening call. I should just mention that we've raised a lot of cash. We have long positions, mostly in the commodity area. So things are doing quite nice, going quite well there. And uh, let's just go to the market. So the Dow's down 245, uh, 34,475, sitting right on the 200 period moving average, making an arch formation. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for uh, four higher peaks. Let me see if I can find this right now I should have done that right away try to identify the lowest low bar and uh, see if you can uh, um, have a turnaround there that takes you to a peak a and then successively higher peaks are alphabetized sequentially on the way up all the way from a to g but it's at that fourth highest peak peak d that other things can happen wow can other things happen look at this we got a peak d in the dow at uh, 35,003 uh, 72 end of uh, March and we pull back but we've held the 200 period moving average we've got a peak D the fourth highest peak that's where other things can happen and uh, in the uh, at 4637.30 in the S&P daily chart <clears throat> pulling back leg C right now uh, above the 200 period moving average of 4410 it's at 4435 the technicals are starting to weaken but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say until it closes under 44.10, it's in, it's an, in a sell signal right now. That's why it's got the down arrow, not yet a sell mode, which imply that it should go down. On the way down, we, we count the peaks, but they aren't as important as on the way up. On the way up, it's always that D that's important. QQQ, uh, the NDX 100 trading vehicle, that is the um, Invesco QQQ Trust Series made a peak B at 371.83 and has really tumbled. It's now 342.95. Um, this is way under all the moving averages. This actually is in a sell mode on the daily. The weekly is uh, in a sell mode. The monthly chart, I have to wait for all of the month to wait to see if it goes into a sell signal. Uh, we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, peak D, right at the 200 period exponential moving. These are all techniques that I'll be discussing in great detail in my webinar to come uh, on the uh, and this is for subscribers to my opening call you can become a subscriber you just go to the front page of tfn and it's actually 30 days uh, money back guarantee you'll be able to utilize this webinar plus all my other webinars uh, eight nine ten of them all discussing these different uh, aspects of the chapman wave methodology so peak d pull back from the 200 period moving average in a cell mode in the iwm but basically what we're looking at and there's a whole discussion that i have i have webinars on this as well but i'll be doing this about the rectangle formation where you can go from a lowercase h like like this a lowercase h where the prices come sharply down and then it tries to rally and it arches over and if it takes out the left side low it's really negative but if it holds and it makes another arch you can go from an h to a lowercase m pattern then you've got to be careful not to take out the left side low so this is the second he has the second arch for the m pattern and he has an even larger one all stuck within the rectangle formation and the implication here is is that that 187 level is going to be critical in April if there's a close on any two day basis, I'd say a weekly basis, but let's just call it any two days in the 185s. That says that the small caps are under tremendous pressure. Let's go on to uh, let's go on to gold. There we go. I'll just move this to the side. There's a peak D in the IWM, the rectangle formation. Really important, 244.46 was that peak D high back in, I think it was November, and it comes tumbling down, and it went below 190, then it popped up to 211, and now it's trading at 197. So this is going to be very, very important. Looking at gold, uh, gold had a much earlier, a much stronger move earlier. It's still up 10. That's good, 1955. So what happened is it screamed up to that high at 2083 on the 8th of March. Comes down very sharply. It's the uppercase A pattern that I'll be talking about in the webinar. Looks like the Eiffel Tower goes straight up and straight down. And then it comes back and it makes the H pattern. It looks like it's going to make an M pattern, but basically 
basically what we're looking at here, you see this MACD, the moving average convergence divergence? If that crosses positive, what we'd be looking at is there's now a new impetus for a breakout to the upside. If this um, green line deflects lower from the uh, red line, that's not a very positive thing. That means that the, the, the um, energy is being usurped and you've used up more of that energy. Now you have to come back again to try to form some kind of support. So it's real simple for me. If, if gold at any particular time for a couple of days starts to trade at about 1983, I'd say 1985 or higher, that's really a breakout from this big rectangle formation and it's going to be very positive. And if you look at silver, Silver has a slightly different pattern. A nice move up today, although it hasn't held it, it's still up 30, 32 cents at 25.15. Basically, it's testing the 200 period moving average over and over again, and it's using it as a springboard. So, if silver, it'll really help the weekly chart. If silver at any point in eight, I'll give it the whole of April, another two and a half weeks. I'd say if, if uh, silver at any point, on a weekly basis is able to close above this high that was made right there on the 24th of March of 2616. If it can close in the 2620s, that's going to be a breakout to the upside. That really improves the weekly chart and really starts to help the monthly chart. Uh, no break under 20, 2390 would be a good sign. Any close under that says, uh-uh, it's starting to fail. And I should mention as, as well that gold has key support um, I'd say at uh, nine, call it 1900, but certainly under 1890 says uh, uh, trouble here. And but it's having a high, uh, it's having a already a consolidation after spectacular up move. Let's go to high grade copper. High grade copper pullback very sharp today. It's at 4.63. Where at a peak D in the daily chart after the big massive move to 5.6. 5.0395 on the 7th of March, tumbles down to under 4.50, then goes peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And lo and behold, what do we have? We have a pullback from this peak D in the arch formation within the rectangle, and the weekly made a double top at a peak D. We're going to be watching this closely. Crude oil had a huge move down today. It's come back a little bit, but it's still down for at 94.31. Same thing. I'm be talking about these rectangle formations that form an arch. What's the implication? And let's just go to the bonds at this particular point. Yeah, yeah, bonds. Oh, they're going even lower today. 1.632 uh, down at 141 and 31.37.